Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, my name is Alicia and today we're back in the kitchen because I've tried to be a DIY queen, I've tried to be a vlogger, I've tried other things but I think I've come to the solution that baking is where I should just stay because it's literally in my name. So, so today we're going to be making cinnamon rolls with no yeast and no eggs so um, really quick and if you're a bit impatient like me you can have them done within the hour so let's crack on and the ingredients <laughs> will appear here so all you need is some milk, some butter, some pasta sugar, some self-raising flour so that they do rise a little bit, baking powder and cinnamon and that's all you need for this so the first thing you want to do is add two cups of flour into your bowl hopefully this bowl is good enough looks like it will be and then you want to add two tablespoons of sugar doesn't matter if it's a bit more or a bit less um, we don't like following instructions anyway because it limits the creativity um, and then you want four teaspoons of baking powder um, I would go flatter because you've already got self-raising flour in there I'm just going to mix that all together a bit first before adding the wet ingredients and now the wet ingredients you want to add three quarters of milk so I've only got a quarter cup so I'll just do this three times two three one three tablespoons of butter make sure this is at room temperature because it does get a bit um hard to stir uh, mix if it isn't so there we go so that's all the ingredients for the dough in the bowl and so you're just going to mix this until it does make a dough um, almost like a bread dough once you've got it looking like this I would recommend um, like pre-flouring your surface before you put your hands in there because then you won't get any flour on this ok so now I have pre-floured the surface um, do that thing that bakers always do it. I am now going to get my hands involved because but who has the patience I mean we all have the time but who has the patience to wait for yeast really um, if you do fair play I'm proud of you you rock you are the elite but for us who are not the elite but in other ways we are this is the way forward Okay, so if you haven't made a mess, you're doing it wrong. Um, <laughs> so this dough now will look, will be a bit like if you've put too much flour in the cookie dough mixture. And the flour on the side um, is good because you want to mix that in until it goes a bit more like a bread dough. Also would advise using the wiggle bowl and if I haven't already said you need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees that is correct amando right so now you've got your dough I'm just gonna pop it on here because that looks funny um I'm just gonna refile my surface a bit oh, oopsie so that looks like that and now you're just gonna roll it out so that it becomes the size of the board. Now the next bit I do a bit controversial because I know that the chefs out there in the world would be like make a mix to put on top. But what I like to do is um, I butter the whole surface and then I just sprinkle as much sugar and cinnamon on as I want. this is baking the easy way 
with an issue maker. Right. Um, you can use whatever sugar you like for this. If you prefer brown sugar, use that. Um, it's really your preference. And then you just want to sprinkle it on. And this is the bit I like to do. Um, I have one of these little things with the holes in. I just tap it, tap away. I think that will be enough cinnamon. Could not tell you how much it is. So now you're just gonna, um, um, you're just gonna took a little bit of it, and then you're just gonna start rolling. Wow! And now, now you've got one big cinnamon sausage. So the end ones will be a bit dodgy because they didn't really do it square, but that's fine. Now you're gonna grease a tray like this. I like to do it in this tray because then you like can break them off like you would brioche. Um, so you're gonna get your spoon again. Once your tray is buttered like this, look, you can put them in whatever tray you like really, as long as you grease the bottom. Um, if you don't want them to touch, I'd recommend doing them like you would cookies. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm just going to shove them all in here. Hopefully it will all fit. But you're going to cut them. Um, so they're normally raised to about that much. I think that's two inches. So if you want them fatter than that, you can cut them as thick or thin as you like. I cut them to about that thickness. It's going to look beautiful like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, other than the three nubby ones, these look beautiful and it's going to taste beautiful as well. We're going to put them in the preheated oven for... I don't remember. I seem to have lost the website that I got this recipe off. So I'm going to guesstimate and put them in for 12 minutes and then I'm gonna, once they're cooked, I will actually let you know how long you should put them in for. Um, yeah, so I'll see you on the flip side when it's all cooked. Okay, so it's been actually 22 to 25 minutes. <laughs> they look great. So this is what it'll look like when it comes out. This is obviously one of the ends, so that's the other end, so that's why it looks a bit funky. Um, but now we're just going to let them cool down a bit and make the icing. So just to clarify, you want to put them in at 200 degrees for 22 to 25 minutes. Now for the uh, drizzle, you can use, you're going to want icing sugar obviously and milk. Um, I'm just going to guess because I haven't got a clue and we don't have a lot of icing sugar left. We don't have any more but I'm going to go rogue and I'm going to make it chocolate icing. Well, it doesn't taste like chocolate at all. Maybe if we add some corn cut powder. Mm, that's better. So I'd recommend if you want to make it a bit thicker and you run out of rice and sugar. I mean, I don't really know how else to say it than to make chocolate ice and sugar. Add three ta tablespoons of drinking chocolate and then one of cocoa powder and it doesn't taste that bad so I'm just gonna add it to this bit here because it might not go with the cinnamon but there we go so this is the finished cinnamon bun um, I will try one in a bit when it's cooled down a bit more but this is the chocolate icing this one is not iced at all because you don't want to ruin them all if this tastes rubbish my advice for baking is 
just go with the egglet and if you think something might taste nice try it because you might actually this could be revolutionary so it's the small things in life that make it the big things as well and if I can make these eight which look pretty darn good so can you hello I'd like to say it was a little bit later but it's literally been a minute I've got the finished bun here this one has the rogue chocolate icing on it and now I'm going to try it and hope that it tastes nice but here we go Mmm, that's nice. With the chocolate on you can't really taste the cinnamon. Well you can a little bit. So I'm glad I left some. Yeah, so that's the end of this video. Thanks for making cinnamon buns with me. Or if you just watched, I hope you were entertained. Yeah, um, enjoy cinnamon buns. Because I'm going to. And I'll see you next time. Bye.